been looking for is natural springs. Say hi to the YouTube people. Feels huge. Huge, enormous. Let's do them! Tips are happy, baby. Yeah. Some of the systems that kind of run the daily operation here. Did you put uh, pepper on already? No, not already. But you pick the pepper yourself. How much pepper do you prefer? Yep. I start by always cracking my toast. Cracking getting your toast? Getting ready to dip uh, it. Okay, so I go to the corner of the yolk. Oh, you go to just, the egg right away. Yeah, and I just rip a little, let, her, let the yolk kind of like bleed out. See, so yeah, I poke and my And then yolk. it's ready. And then I let her bleed out. Interesting. See, now I create that separate puddle. You create like a stew. <laughs> Stew of egg and yolk. Good morning, Runaways. Morning from the new home. It feels so good to be in our new home here on the ranch for four nights. Yeah, four nights in. And it's gone pretty well. It's, yeah, honestly. For not, not having really, everything done? We didn't at all rush into it, but mm -hmm. we moved in before everything was complete. Um, so, with that being considered, like, not really many hiccups. No, I feel pretty good about it. We have a new fridge <laughs> because yes. the existing 1988 fridge in here uh, ran at 320 watts constant. And we quickly figured out that is not sustainable. And that would be able to keep up with it, but like, that's not the point. Like, yeah, but like, why? Yeah, we yeah. don't want to like take that chunk out of our total solar capabilities yeah, for fridge. other things. Ordered a new fridge that uses a third of that. It uses like 100 it's watts. It's so nice. It, it looks really good in this space. Yep. Which is Same cool. size. Just 30 years of technology. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like 33% of the power 30 years later. So with everything in a little bit more space, it feels so good. We have room to really spread out in here, which is so nice. From what? 70 square feet? 70 Jilly. square feet. So from 70 square foot to about 215 square foot. Feels so, like a mansion. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Feels huge. Huge, enormous. And I pulled out all my Christmas decorations. So I made it really homey in here. They haven't been out for three years. Christmas just vomited all over. You know, <laughs> I'm a like big that. Christmas guy. <laughs> Had our breakfast. We're drinking some coffee this morning while the sun comes up. And uh, we're going to get out there and get some projects done. Because yeah. it wouldn't be one of our vlogs unless we were <laughs> Unless just we were doing something. Tackling a bunch of projects. It wouldn't be a day unless we were tackling some yeah, projects. Yeah, that's true. A vlog. We actually ta tackle less projects in our vlogs. It's literally less projects in our vlogs than we do on the normal days. Yeah. But you guys are here for it today. Yeah. Let's so, get to work. Cheers. That coffee hit yet? I wish it would. No, <laughs> no not yet. We are very different people. I finally feel very energized. Is it sunny in here? Stop it. I finally feel very energized and ready for the day. Coffee is hitting good. We got things to do. Let's do them. Let's do them! <laughs> this is my excitement right here. I'm so excited. We literally <laughs> think it's so funny because he always says that's the reason he loves me is because I'm so crazy. Upbeat. What do you think? Just happy. Just, Just happy. happy. Oh, that's sweet. But I am wired right this second. Me too. <laughs> and he is very monotone, but that's why we work, right? A little, a little yin and yang, baby. Good morning, Runaway Ranch! <laughs> it is about two weeks before Christmas, 
and it's supposed to be 60 degrees today, which obviously I love. So we are gonna take advantage of this beautiful day, get some things done, spend some time outside, and just enjoy the sun. So this morning we want to take you around some of the systems that kind of run the daily operation here. Because if you're not familiar with us, we are fully off-grid. We don't have any public utilities. We don't even have a well. We don't have electricity, internet lines coming out here. We don't have none of that. Give me that sun, baby. Give me that sun, baby. <laughs> So again, we have no electricity, so everything we do here is solar-based. Together, this is powering our camper right now, which is 750 watts of solar coming into our beautiful camper. And these panels charge a portable power station that our shore power from the camper is hooked into. Now this solar setup is very temporary. Now that we've moved into the camper, we have an incredibly exciting project. We are gonna start building out our 4,800 watt solar array and power system. So with our current setup, we have about a total of a thousand watts, but all amongst a whole bunch of different set of solar panels that we have to move around. So taking that from a thousand to 4,800 with a bigger battery bank and an inverter, is it's gonna be awesome and that project's gonna be coming up soon on our channel. And what's so fun about running off of solar is when these sunny days come, you just get so excited because you know all of your batteries are gonna be charged, all of your laptops will be charged, everything will be running, but you're so in tune with the weather. You're so in tune with what's going on, which is one of our favorite parts of living here off-grid. Solar day, solar day, solar day. Get it, get it, get it, get that sun. Now every operator also needs to have a generator just in case if you have a couple cloudy days, we need to charge everything up before going somewhere. So we also have our generator here. And that generator is 3,800 watts, which is much larger than the inverter that we've been living with for three years. Uh, so that's plenty for us. We have two power lines or two big extension cords run to both the cabin and over to the camper that can charge the respective power stations in there. Right now, while we have a smaller solar system, that's very important to have. Once we build out our full solar system, that will really just become a backup generator. So let's check out how we get water. So here we have our rainwater collection system. So we set up gutters on the cabin that all come down into this first flush system is what it's called. So basically it redirects all the water into a separate tube um, from, I don't know, the first couple of gallons that come off the roof to kind of rinse everything off. And then once that fills up, it plugs that first flush system and runs into one of our totes. So currently we have two 275 gallon totes, one we keep right here. When that gets full, we go and fill our other tote up there, which is that way so that it's a little closer to everywhere that we use water so we don't have to run like 200 foot of hose. So during the summer, we were running down to a local spring to get water, but for the last, I don't know, month or two, we got this all hooked up. We have only been rainwater collecting water and we haven't, run out at all and that's only with the ability to hold on to 550 gallons at once um, soon enough we're going to get another one of these totes put it on the side so that this collection can fill 550 here and then we can transfer up to the 275 over there it's like if you check your bank account and you are expecting it to be really low and then you see it's like ooh, it's almost full that's how I feel every time I check this and it's full. We live with 22 gallons of water in our van. Uh, so you go through that pretty quick. So the ability to carry or hold on to 550 gallons at once is astronomical. It's living the high life. Right now for drinking water, we take this rainwater and we actually filter it through our filtration system. But today we're gonna take you along to a pretty cool project where we're trying to tap one of the natural springs here. We're gonna get that all set up and then bring that water to a lab to get it tested so hopefully that could actually be the source of our natural drinking water so essentials we have electricity we have water and now an essential in modern day world is the internet well for those of you that saw the early days at the runaway ranch 
old Ellen is no longer on the roof of the truck. We used to park the truck back here and put, we call Ellen our dish, or just the female version of Elon, I guess. Because <laughs> uh, this is Starlink, and Starlink is an Elon Musk project, part of SpaceX. Uh, we used it while living on the road in the van, and it was fantastic. And we don't have power lines back here, so that also means we don't have cable lines. So we have no access to conventional internet. We also don't even have cell service here. So this is everything, our entire means for communication. I got it up on this pole now, so it's a lot nicer. Starlink works great for us. The biggest thing with it is you need to find a good clear area pointing north because the satellites run north, I believe. That's the means of how this YouTube video here is going to be uploaded and shared to you. Now, while once a week we live a very public and transparent life here on our YouTube channel, we're actually pretty private people. Hence us living in the middle of nowhere. And we're very mindful of keeping our personal information out of circulation on the web. Data brokers are online organizations that collect personal information about everyone. If you've ever run a background check, a credit score check, or simply use the internet, data brokers likely have your information. With this data, they then analyze it and organize it into usable information that they then sell to other companies. These companies then use your information to target you for ads and much more. This information is then continuously sold from company to company until your information is all over the web. Delete Me has made it their mission to remove your personal information out of search results and out of the hands of data brokers. That's why here at the Runaway Ranch, we've partnered with them to keep our data secured. After signing up, we filled out a quick and easy questionnaire that helps them find as much of our personal data as possible. Once their data experts locate your information, they instantly begin the seven day deletion process. And I was frightened to see from my first Delete Me report that 76 data brokers had information on me. This information ranged from my address to even information about my family. Thankfully, Delete Me worked to remove 93 of these listings from these brokers. And they don't stop there. Every three months, they work to scan and remove your information from the web. Go to joindeleteme.com forward slash runaway20 to learn more about how Delete Me can keep your personal online information secure. And to get 20% off today. I love you. Say hi to the YouTube people. <laughs> He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's so chill right now, eh? Give mommy a kiss. It's like falling asleep. I know, he's my baby. I am so surprised they left you. Atali's favorite spot is in the woods. If you have ever met Atali, you know that he is a maniac. He's like such a potato normally, but then as soon as he hits the woods, especially this time of year when all the leaves are down and that crinkle sound goes, he like freaking loves it. So whenever we come down into our woods, we make sure to bring him. If you watched our waterfalls video or have been following us for a while, you know that we have several creeks and waterfalls on our property. Um, so what I have been looking for is natural springs because all of these creeks are groundwater fed um, along our property that we could potentially tap into for drinking water. And right here, we're at one of them. This is the first one I'm gonna try to tap and then get tested at the university nearby. I don't know a whole lot about natural springs or anything. By no means am any sort of expert. I have drank spring water my entire life and I much prefer it over any sort of city tap water. Um, what's ideal about this situation from what I do understand is that this is coming from an actual hole far deep into the grounds. So there's no water just coming from the surface that can taint the source that this is coming from. If you see, I can reach my arm way back here before I hit a wall, <laughs> which is awesome. So that's where the water is actually coming from. And once you get, once you take a scoop out, obviously it lo looks dirty, but it starts running super clear after that. So my idea with that, and this is going to be our just quick initial setup, is run half inch PVC, it's PEX, whatever, um, in there. I'm gonna kind of dam up around that hole so that it can fill up a little bit more. There's a big clay deposit right on the other side. I'm gonna fill up a bucket, kind of clay in those rocks so it starts pooling up and then it flows out of this PVC. We'll give it a couple days to run clear, then we'll bottle it and bring it to the lab to test. Play 
playing your cards with your queen of hearts. When every you like being in your woods, baby? I love being in my woods. You're my favorite. In your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes to hide your lies. Roll the dice. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. That invincible fence. He feels so good to be down in our woods again. I know when we were trying to get moved into the camper, it was really, really stressful. We were working really, really hard up at the top of our property. But as soon as you come down here, it's just like a breath of fresh air. It's so nice. I like being in my woods. It's been about three weeks since I've been in my woods, which is unreal. It's like a whole playground that I haven't even been motivated enough to come down and explore. But today it feels so good coming down here, working on this spring project, and hopefully we can start figuring some good stuff out about it. You can see the water right now, but now that it's settled, it's not perfectly settled, but it's already running clear. Um, it's pretty quick before it, all the clay or whatever sediment settles in it. So it's gonna be hard to get the angle that we need. I'm hoping the little dam that I build will pull up like we need to, um, but that's what I'm gonna try to do now and we'll see if we can get a little bit of water flowing out of this. So it's starting to come out a little slower now that we're building the dam. <laughs> so we're just playing in the mud. This is the crap we used to do when we were kids and now we're just like full ass grown adults playing in the mud. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Let me see those dirty hands, baby. Dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty. Oh, <gasps> we got water. We got water. Okay, let's see if it starts getting faster or not. Oh my God. Atali. That's exciting. Atali, please get away from there, Bubba's. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Now I can wash my clay hands off. There you go. I mean, I'll probably be putting more clay in, but. Oh, that's some nice fresh. This is like what I use to clean. This is the pressure I use to clean the dishes. <laughs> to so, conserve water. To conserve water. So I don't think that's too bad. Nice. Nice. That's we'll so see exciting. If it keeps, and I can keep trying to dam it up better. Yeah. So but I wasn't sure if that was going to work at all. Here we are. Look at that. Oh, nice. Make some moonshine with that. <laughs> like they used to do in these hollers and probably still do. <laughs> it's flowing good. The whole half inch, these hips are happy, baby. Yeah, happy these hip. hips are happy. The whole half inch pipe is like good flow now. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh my God. I feel good about it already. Gotta get it tested. Gotta get it tested. Who but knows if we'll we can actually. For it to clear. Yeah, who knows if we can actually drink it, but either way, we have it down here. We can come wash our hands. Tali can get a drink, whatever. We'll see. Maybe we could though. So cool. So cool. So I am back up from the spring for lunch and it went pretty well. I'm pretty excited about it. We, the flow was variable. It would choke up from time to time. Um, but it's getting into this cycle now where it's flowing really fast, settles down some to, I don't know, like half flow, then it's flowing really fast again. And we talked to our friend, our, our neighbor Blaine, uh, who just did a similar thing as, as what we're doing down there. And he said his did that in the very beginning and then just settled into a constant flow. So we'll see how that goes. So the flow rate, I, I actually started timing it when it was coming out really good. It was coming out at, at exactly a gallon per minute. Now this is for drinking water. This is not for shower water or anything else. That's what our rainwater collection is gonna be for. I really, really believe in drinking. I mean, well water does this too, but spring water, real water, water that actually has mineralization content to it because we miss so much of that through purified waters, city waters that are filtered and chlorinated, reverse osmosis, all this stuff that basically just gives you pure, just plain H2O with no mineralization content. Um, so this is just supposed to be a source of drinking water for us. This, this one here is just a trial. We have 
lots of springs all around the properties. And the dam that I built is just like a little temporary setup that if this seems like it's gonna work out, we'll find a better solution. If you have a better solution, let us know. Um, I know a lot of y'all have done a lot of what we're doing. Feel free to just let us know, but I'm excited about it. You hungry, baby? Yeah, I'm very hungry. Time for lunch? Let's eat. Getting the lunch out of my teeth. Get out of here! You may have seen in the background of our some other videos, we have a new toy. Thank you to my grandfather who actually gifted this us. This used to be his old four-wheeler. It's a Can-Am 650 and we have been using it relentlessly here on the property. It has been such a game changer for us, just even going down to get to the mail. Matt helped our neighbor move some trees with it the other day. Like, we had just use it all the time. Even going back and forth between Blaine and Nessa's property and our property, it has been so nice to have. And it's pretty hefty duty, so it's working here at the ranch. And as many of you know, our mailbox is half a mile down a dirt road. So we're gonna go take her to check on our mail. Thanks, Grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa, I love you. Passing through If heaven's not my home Then hell will have to do We 